Hello and welcome to Devil Talk 24. Thank you for joining us for another unboxing. Today we have Set a Watch Doom Run from Rock Manor Games. Set a Watch is a series I've had my own for a little while, which is a cooperative adventuring party game with the theme of one of your party members staying behind looking after the camp whilst the rest of the party fend off the night beasts that may be coming to get them. With a little bit more complexity added into that. But the Doom Run brings the previous standalone games into a campaign setting. Um, there's a relatively large box here and that's because everything should fit into this once we've got it going. So let's get in and have a look. So first off, just to say with this, you will need all of the previous standalone expansions in order for Doom Run to work. So bear that in mind if this is a product that you're looking to pick up. So you're probably only going to be picking this up if you've already got the other three, which is the base game, the Gotten Isle, I think it is, and also the, I think it says on the back, the Sword of the Coin, Swords of the Coin, Forsaken Isles, and the Outriders mini expansion. So bear in mind that you do need all of that. Okay, so we've got some promotional material, our rule book, which adds some additional information uh, to the campaign itself. Uh, how to organize the actual box. We always like that. Um, we've got our new adventurers. So we've got the knight, the bard, uh, the royal, the cartographer, uh, serpent phone lancer, the cult leader, and the vampire. So one thing is you're not sure of the type of adventurers you may need. So we've got a new board. Obviously, one of the things that is quite nice about the standalone expansions is the board actually comes out of the box. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different for us. And then, like I said, this is mainly going to be storage. Um, so it is a bit of an empty box syndrome. Um, and we will lift up some bits and there are some extra bits in here where we won't go into too much detail with them because they are campaign sort of elements. Um, and I just want to double check. And we've got nothing else under there. Um, but the, like I say, this is designed to hold all of the other expansions all in one. But what we will do is we will go through some of these cards that are going to come in this edition. So you can see some of the elements that you'll be coming up against. So we've got our new and hallowed. Of course, we've got our summon cards. Uh, more than ever before, by the looks of it. Um, spooked horse, uh, supplicant, carrier, dragon, torch wielding mob. We do a little good torch wielding mob. Corrupt guards, uh, sewer ghoul, gargoyle, enraged farmer, highwayman, and topiary beast. Acolyte initiative. Initiate, sorry. Uh, and the falcon. So the falcon's going to be obviously be uh, one of our um, familiar type characters. We've got our new allocations. So I'm not going to go through all of them in detail, but we can see always some nice picturesque fantasy artwork with the game. Um, so there's a, a nice game break um, in that. Okay, then we've got some, I think, sort of status or missions for some of our characters, um, or sort of like some, maybe some backstory for them. Well, again, try not to go too much detail into those, just in case there are spoilers there. Um, but we will have a quick look at some of our abilities that we'll be seeing. Okay, so uh, crossbow or assassins or favor for the realm. I do always like looking at our passives each time you gain doom. Choose an adventurer to reroll an unspent die and refresh your falcon. If your falcon is already refreshed, gain a coin. So that's really nice. Uh, we've got a shield bash, magic sword, a taunt. Dragon Lance Inspire, choose one adventurer, turn their lowest die result to the highest value once per watch phase. Uh, a song of Discord, Siren Song, Line Dance, Harmonize, Passive. Choose an adventurer, that adventurer's next direct attack is doubled. You ignore range and limitations when attacking reveal creatures in the line. Creature powers cannot prevent this ability. Very nice. And then we've got some new items, which we won't go into too much detail on. Because it's always good to see what comes up and what you can purchase. But again, 
got some nice variety in the items that we're going to be seeing. That is about it for this unboxing. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a lot of space in here um, to organise this game. So we'll just go back and have a quick look at that uh, organising the box piece. Um, so it's just going to tell you where to add items to. Um, yeah. So nice to probably have a nice graphic board, but looking forward to getting everything in this one box and giving the campaign element a go. If you like what we do, give us a like and a subscribe. Check out the other videos on our channel and we'll catch you next time. Take care.